Okay, let us resume. Uh, there are some hanging chats here from Joe Wynn. Uh, Pastor, there is always confusion in the use of salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. Acts 4 12, please explain. So, salvation in the name of Jesus Christ, again, it's not phonetic, merely pronouncing the name of Jesus Christ saves you. That's what's wrong with uh, decisionistic formula uh, salvation, where a repeated prayer is dictated. Uh, then the person is pronounced as saved just because he mentioned inviting Jesus Christ into his heart. Uh, that's where the confusion comes. What it is saying is Peter is addressing the Sanhedrin. Uh, is saying that there is no other name under heaven that will save. And by the name, as I've explained, it refers to the person and the work of Jesus Christ. So it's not the phonetic sound of it that saves. It is the faith acceptance of who he is and what he has done. <clears throat> then there's a reference here for your reading that you can download uh, from uh, Michael Horton. That's the assigned reading. So the whole book or the whole book. Okay, that's a bonus for you. This is a major book by uh, Horton, Michael Horton. So the Christian faith, you can download it. And from Pastor Lito Labay, uh, do the early Christian, did the early Christians being monotheist uh, struggle believing in the deity of Christ and the Holy Spirit? I am cert I certainly they did in the sense that they have a Jewish, uh, you remember my diagram here, they had a Jewish understanding of the Old Testament that included monotheism, and now they encounter Jesus, and with Jesus, there is also the promise of the Holy Spirit, and they struggled, but uh, they accepted and taught the deity of the Father, which was not questionable, but they also taught clearly the deity of Jesus Christ and the deity of the Holy Spirit without any self-conscious uh, sense of contradiction. Now that later led to our Trinitarian formula. You do not have the word, word Trini, Trinity or Trinitarian in the New Testament, but that the New Testament is Trinitarian as uh, defined in the Trinitarian formula is without doubt the case. So uh, they struggled, but when they began writing, remember I told you that it was two decades or three before the first writing of the New Testament. So there must have been struggle uh, before that. But by the time they began writing the New Testament, more or less, their faith was settled. <clears throat> Let us continue now with the Messianic 